Hey there people how the frigs it going today well today was going to be the day where i sent bender through the patch over there which is the whole reason why i mowed the freaking lawn was because that was the battle plan however if you look around there's a super low pressure system moving in and it already spritzed on me a few times while i was doing the front look at these guys up there on the roof holy crap one of those would feed me for a night frig those are big crows but anyway they're perched up there right now because I just mowed the lawn and I know they're hunting for worms but I was going to come over here and blast it with bender but not if it's raining because dragging extension cords across an already damp surface in the rain is a good way to get yourself electrocuted and uh, dying is not on the schedule for today's program. What are we going to do? As you can see there's no more scrap at the end of the road. Yep, dad didn't have to come and get it. Last night, before I went to uh, go fishing, when I did the uh, part in the garage, I walked out, threw my stuff in the truck, and just as I was getting in the truck, a Toyota Corolla pulls up behind me with a trailer. Buddy gets out and starts walking up to the house, so I get out of the truck, and I'm like, uh, hey, how can I help you? And I asked him if he was the guy from Kijiji, because I posted on Kijiji, free scrap, come and get it, first come, first serve, no need to message, side of the road. So I asked him if he was the one guy who contacted me. He said no. I was like, oh, okay, well, somebody else wanted it, but I did put first come, first serve, so if you want it, take it all. He's like, everything? I said, everything. Take it all. I want it all gone. I don't plan on scrapping it, and I was right. He's like, yeah, he goes, I've been just hoarding it until scrap prices go back up, because right now, scrap prices are abysmal. He's not making much money off of scrap, so. And he told me, he's like, normally I charge people, you know, uh, if you want me to take your washer and your dryer, I charge five dollars an appliance and then five dollars he goes i would have charged you fifteen dollars to haul this out of here today i said well i'm not paying you anything if you want to take it if you don't i know somebody else does because they already messaged me and they're on their way in the morning and he was like oh okay well yeah i'll take it so he just took it for free um i contacted the other guy and told him i said sorry man somebody just came along and sniped it it's, it's gone uh save yourself the trip but at least I was nice enough to let him know. I didn't want to leave him hanging. He, he was coming in from a little ways out of town, like Calendar, where I bike to every time. So you now it's a bit of a bit of a jaunt down the highway, a waste of gas for him just to get here and realize it's gone. So, so then I got wondering about this fridge, what to do, and Dad's like, "Well, does it work?" I'm like, "Well, yeah, it worked. I just I don't need a bar fridge out here because, you know, back in the day I used to stock a full of water and beer, and then I would just sit out here." and barbecue and I'd have beer in here and beer in the house and bottles of water out here and bottles of water in the house so I don't do that anymore I don't need it and he's like well put it at the side of the road and I'm like well the problem is she's pretty gross inside like there's a lot of a lot of mold and a lot of other stuff I don't even know why I'm keeping this and he said ah somebody will clean it Just put it at the side of the road it'll go 
So, you know what? Dad's been right three for three. Let's see if he's right four for four. Now look at it out here. It's like the sun's coming through that little pocket. And so, which way is the wind blowing? I can't even tell which way the clouds are going. And let's run the extension cables and we'll go ahead and send Bender through. I was gonna wait and do it another day. I was gonna focus today on moving the fridge, moving the compressor, getting that area all set up. But I really, 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 really wanna try out Bender. All I have for extension cord, and guys, I know we're not supposed to do what I'm about to do is, I'm gonna be hooking up an extension cord to an extension cord <laughs> to reach my, uh, my destination. I know, I know. You don't need to tell me in the comments. Adam, that's highly dangerous. You could blow yourself up. Uh, you could catch the cord on fire, so on and so forth. <sighs> what else do you do when you live in a shoe, right? What, go out and buy the right cord? <laughs> I think I'm made of money? Holy crap. All right, I take it back. We only need one. Sweet. All right, let's get Bender out there and go and rip some weeds. The sacrificial lawnmower boys. Gonna send her. See if she'll actually do what she's what she's born to do. See if she's actually capable of doing what she was born to do. That's mow and go where no mower has gone before. Straight to the raspberry rock infested bushes. Let's do it. Okay, so she's not right down to the wood like right here, but you know what? If I actually had an extension cable long enough, I think I would get rid of the gasser and go full electric. This thing is just a champion. Like I hit a couple stones over here and on the gas powered Mastercraft and I hit a stone, she just stalled right out. This, and look at the brand, JobMate. I talk shit about JobMate all the time and it hit a stone, a fairly big one too, I don't know where it went, but it hit the same size, almost the same size of stone, probably the same stone, maybe I drilled it over here and I forgot, but it hit a stone, the size of the one that stalled the Mastercraft, 
And rather than stalling it, it just spit it. It just fired it. You know, I, <laughs> there's the thistles. I just went full tilt like a Peterbilt and smashed them out. Some people said they have a tap root, but obviously these ones haven't planted them yet. They obviously grew too fast and didn't get themselves seeded. But like I was just drilling it in here and it was making mints out of all the, uh, the nonsense. I honestly think that uh, if I have to replace my mower, I might look at getting like 120 foot, 130 foot cable and switching over to electric. Now, you're probably noticing I didn't get all the way down there. Cable won't reach. I was debating on going in the garage and grabbing my key green cable and daisy chaining. Oh, Jesus. Hey, buddy. <laughs> didn't even see you there. One of these black and brown fluffy Pomeranian caterpillars. Don't pet these guys, they got spikes. Uh, but yeah, I got down here and Oh man, there's a whole bunch of them here. Look, there's another one. What the hell? I've never seen these guys around. This is the first time I've seen two side by side. There's Periwinkle and Travis. I'm gonna have to watch where I'm stepping so I don't kill these poor things. But uh, yeah, I ran out of cable. You've probably seen it on the video where the cable jumped out of the friggin' lawnmower. But hey man, electric is actually pretty damn decent. Used to dog on it all the time, you know, because the commercials on TV would be like, are you sick and tired of dealing with the extension cord and not running it over? And they show like the video of the person like struggling with the cord like I was. And then they show the person running it over the cord and then they do like this like effect where it's all like inverted color. And then, you know, where Buddy's like coming along and he's like, you know, like where Buddy's coming along and he like runs over the cable and just cooks himself. And they do that like inverted and reverted and make it look like he's getting electrocuted. Yeah, I saw a bunch of those commercials on TV and it always told me that electric was never the way to go. But Rex back in the day was like, oh, I let my grass grow. Like, I don't really care. I mow it maybe three times a year. I got an electric mower and it goes through anything. And I always thought he was talking out his ass until I tried this thing out. And it's freaking Bender Boys. Like, it's a job mate that's been in a shed accident. I'm going to lower the wheels, bring the blade closer to the, the deck, closer to the ground. And we're going to try and take her right to the wood. Let's freaking have at her. Uh, hopefully that holds off. Yeah, this is probably the best idea I had in the history of best ideas. Free broken lawnmower, repaired, send it. Look at all this clear out. The other stuff back there is obviously like tree stumps and whatever, but uh, we reclaimed a lot of property by doing that. And look at this thistle bush is pretty mangled. It's just gonna die now. Same with the other one that was down here. Or was it about up here? I can't remember where it is, but I smashed that one out too. Oh, here it is. This one here. Its roots all shagged up. Oh, oh, yeah. There we go. So it's no longer rooted. So it's just gonna. It's just gonna die. So tempted to send it over there now. Why the frig not, right? Yeah, electric boys. I dogged it for many years. I'll never make that mistake again. I can't believe how awesome that worked out. Cause I tried doing it with the Mastercraft and she kept stalling. 
with that electric and I hit something pretty hard over here and she stalled but she started right back up like she she slowed down but she didn't stop if you have a small property why well, get a gasser Frig, run electric like my buddy has one of these uh, those ego battery operated 48 volt jobbies she loves it she gets a good hour and a half two hours out of it so she started a lawn cutting business for the summer she was out of work needed something to do started a lawn cutting business she has two batteries for the mower she goes out cuts lawns she cuts two lawns and goes home puts the battery on the charger grabs the other battery cuts more lawns goes home puts the battery on the charger and makes a little bit of a scratch on the side but like you have to admit that looks so much nicer that's freaking awesome I keep forgetting how big this yard is I really need to do something with it I keep saying I want a vacation to be nice you know make this my vacation just hang out in the backyard just got to deal with all these hostile plants I have the perfect way to do that <laughs> Just look at what Bender did, eh? Holy! And over here too. Yeah, we push this back pretty far. You like my uh, my unsafe technique of grabbing the mower, lifting it in the air, and dropping it on the weeds. Knocked it all back. Knocked over all these stupid spiky freaking thistles. <laughs> did you see when I ran over the thistles? All the cotton that came out of them. That was hilarious. These uh, spiky bottom ends are just packed with fluff. Uh, they'll die. They'll die. They're all unrooted and laying over. They'll dry out throughout the week. But yeah, people. I thought for sure I was going to kill Bender. I thought for sure that area over there was going to slay it. But on the contrary, Bender did what Bender was intended to do and did it with much grace Despite the wampus freaking handlebars and the blade that hasn't been replaced since 19 fish and chips I Got to give this little lawnmower some serious cred it's uh, Probably one of the best things job mates ever built and trust me That's coming from a guy who used to buy all job made stuff because it was cheap bought so much of it that he got a free job mate friggin toolbox it is what it is it worked out great we reclaimed a whole bunch of the backyard knocked over a whole bunch of plants but the reason why i stopped is while i was mowing i started getting spitted on and it didn't feel like plant spit it felt like from the clouds so i was like ah this is electric i don't really feel like getting short circuited i don't know how it is in the rain I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to use electric mowers in the rain. Like, my intuition tells me this. 
mainly because, well, electricity plus water equals ouch time for a person near electricity in the water. Uh, I could be wrong. You can correct me if you want, but uh, yeah, just coming right here to get this broken bucket. It's got to go in the garbage. But um, I think that's going to basically do it for today. I think I'm basically done back here. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what to do. Give that like button a clickety clack. Let's me know that you liked the video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, shove them down below. And until next time, guys, stay safe. Skivens out. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.